In Guided Edit Mode, you get a list of actions or processes that can be added to an image or images. If you have worked with Photoshop in the past and ever used an action, a lot of these guided edits are similar to those. Some of the more simple guided edits are just step-by-step -step instructions or a single button or slider to complete a task. Take Sharpen. You can either click the Auto Sharpen button or use the slider. If you watch the Tools section of this course, you should know how to do these basic edits without needing to enter Guided Edit Mode. I'm going to cover a few that are probably easier to accomplish using the Guided Edit Mode than to try yourself in Full Edit Mode. Let's start with Depth of Field, the sole entry in the Lens Effects section. I'd like to make the background behind this tree blur as it recedes. So I'll go into the Depth of Field Edit and choose Simple for the selection method. Now I have three steps to take. First we'll add the blur. Next I need to use the Gradient tool to drag out a line from what I want to be the center of focus. So I'll start in about the middle of the tree and go out a little ways beyond it. Then in step 3 I can increase the blur if needed. So that ended up okay but definitely not perfect. The tree is still blurred around the edges. The good thing about guided edits is the process isn't hidden from you. If I click done and go into full edit mode you can see that I have a new layer with a layer mask added to it. So I can now go on my own and put the finishing touches onto this effect. In this instance I need to expand the white area of the layer mask. So I'm going to select the layer mask and then grab a big soft edge brush and make sure white is selected as my foreground color. Now the entire tree is crisp and the layer mask looks quite a bit different. Totally white in the area of the tree. We'll cover more about layer masks later on. Let's go back into guided edit mode. This time I'm going to do an Orton effect on this photo. In here I have a sample of the Orton effect. Roll over this image and it will shift to the original look. Now just click the Orton Effect button, which just does a brightness and contrast change. The effect really takes hold when I add the blur. I can also add in some noise or adjust the brightness. Now back to full edit mode. Doing the Orton effect added a copy of the original layer and then a focus and blur layer on top of that. So I can come in and tweak these layers a little more if I want, maybe adding some saturation or a hue adjustment. Finally, we're going to look at the guided edit called Picture Stack. Creating this effect on your own would be extremely time consuming. But with this guided edit, Elements takes care of the heavy lifting nice and quick. So what this will do is slice the photo up into what looks like several different printed pictures. I'm going to go with eight separate photos. And then add a medium border to each. Finally, I'll add a solid color to the background. Maybe the, some of the yellow in his shirt. Now over in full edit mode, 
you can see that this was quite a process. There are 25 plus layers in this image now. I can still work with it though. In the full edit mode lesson coming up, we'll edit the separate photos in this image. So guided edit mode can get you started with some pretty cool effects. But then you can take them further by using full edit mode. For the remainder of this course, we'll be using full edit mode to get deeper into elements.